Welcome back, you legends. I'm here to talk about extreme sports. With the Tokyo Olympics going on, it has me thinking a lot about what is a mainstream sport and what is an extreme sport. Hang gliding. It's death-defying. It's adrenaline fueled. Yet it's probably pretty relaxing and safe as well. Just hold on to that bar. Okay, he is going into bloody hyperspeed. This is more than just a lovely day looking at the fucking Italian mountains. I never knew hang gliding had evolved so much. Evolution is a key word. You could go over a big ramp on a bicycle or you could do it in a wheelchair. Some say being extreme is about taking knowing shit to the next unknown level. Oh my gosh! Oh shit! Fuck yes, Aaron Wheels. Fuck yes, mate. Roller skates, they were definitely extreme back in the day. I'd argue they still are. If you're a roller skater, you could get bullied by rollerbladers. That's the risk you take. Flippy, spready, bam. But whatever. Sometimes extremeness is nothing more than showcasing something you love doing without worrying about what other wankers reckon of you. You practice, you get good at it, adjacent, spready, and you just go for it. That rubs off on people. Your extreme sport becomes popular. Before you know it, everyone wants to be a hula hooper when they grow up. Whammy, mainstream sport activated. The growth of skateboarding makes it my favourite extreme sport. It's a sport that's considered rebellious. Nah, it is. You always get told off if you're a skater. You're considered a punk, a reject, a reprobate. That's bloody stressful and therefore an extreme way to live. So what if it develops on the streets? So what? Skateboarding will never go anywhere, some stuck-up dickhead says. Oh yeah, except the bloody Olympics. Sure, we all act like we don't care about the Olympics. But the day Tony Hawk did a Japan Air in Japan was fucking splendiferous. Some acts of extremity won't catch on in my lifetime, like rafting on a tower of boats. I don't see it. I don't see it happening at the Brisbane 2032 Olympics. But who am I to say? This bloke is a pioneer. He's ahead of the times. He has a vision for something amazing. Let's sit back and see where it goes. Okay, he's done it. He's pumped. I'm glad he hasn't ended up in destination fucked. Big wave surfing. That makes me nervous. The waves get so big you can't even see the surfer. There's the jet ski guy on the right doing the old see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, the surfer's in there somewhere in the middle. Yeah, no, yeah, he looks to be alive. The trajectory of surfing as a sport is another fascinating one to look into. He's alive. He's alive. Jeez, that whitewash on his ass gives me big anxiety. Nah, he's alive though, and he's going to live to tell the tale. And that's what it's about too. The big reward when it comes to extreme sports is living to tell the tale. You push the limits of human capability, and you come out the other side as a fair dinkum legend. Okay, I can't tell you if he's going to come out the other side, because that is a fuck ton of mist. I'm going to remain optimistic, however and say he's accomplished his goals. I reckon he has. Probably. Speaking of goals, here comes one. Nah, overall, you take the old or the traditional and you make it new again. That's not that extreme. When you really think about it, another shot? Nah, denied. <laughs> this goalie is a tank. Technically, it's an excavator, but you know what I mean. Another shot. This one looks pretty good. I reckon that's going to go through. Nah, 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 nah. Denied again. It's great to see no one's diving or playing for free kicks in this version of soccer.